Hey beautiful birds and bees, I'm going to show you how to spike your wigs. Um, this one is obviously Kirishima, it's just one I already had that fell flat, so let's get into it. To start off you need a hairdryer, comb, wig brush if you've got one, or just a normal brush will do, scissors, got to be glued is the best hairspray, little rubber bands and wig head are optional. You can do this on your own head, but it is a lot, lot easier to do it on a wig head. So we're just going to adjust the wig by putting the little grips into the little ribbon at the back in a way that we know fits our own head. Um, for me, it's always about two in with the same with every wig, but you can always try it on your head first to work out which one um, fits your head the most snug. This basically just means that it fits better on the wig head too and doesn't slide around. You are going to want to make sure it's even, so the little tabs at the side or where your temples are, you're going to want to pin in the middle of the wig and each side of the temple. I was an idiot and didn't make sure it was even first, so it's slightly crooked, and you'll see at the end, my spikes are also slightly crooked because of this. So it's very important that you make sure the wig is on straight on your wig head. The pins are there basically just to stop it um, moving around while you're styling it. So I'm just going to give it all a quick brush first so I can see what I've got to work with. My Kirishima wig is actually already styled because I've already done it once before so we won't need to be doing much if any cutting today but I will show you um, some brief cutting techniques just so you know what to do for your wig. Next we are just taking pretty much little sections and we are going to start back combing it. Um, literally comb from the base to the root to back comb and get it real like you are messing this wig up you are back combing the hell out of it then you're gonna give it a quick spray from a distance with your hairspray and back comb it again basically this is to help it stay in position a little bit of spray with the hairspray as well also helps it to be tangly and in back combing what actually happens is you help create the volume that you're going to need for the spikes and it will also create a lot of texture in the hair it also allows a lot more poof basically so if you've got a wig that's really flat you can back comb it completely and then brush it out and it will get rid of the flatness and give it more volume overall as well. It does look like you're ruining your wig, I promise you it's all fixable. The wig fibres are silicon which is plastic so it is easily fixed especially with short wigs. Short wigs are very easy to fix so don't feel like you've messed it up. We are back combing this all over okay, we got this. The only bits I am not back combing are two little bits at the front I want to lie flat to my face um, just to give some texture. So make sure you think that in mind if you've got bits that you want to fall flat, don't back comb those bits. Now we have our fully back combed wig. Look how poofy he is. He is one big poof. This is why I always recommend getting a wig brushed very, very easily and gently go over these without destroying the poof too much. This keeps the volume, but it gets rid of the tangle and makes it easier to section. This step is optional, but we're going to get the little rubber hair ties and we are going to section out this wig to where we want everything to go. Um, use a reference photo if you've got one. I'm going off what my previous Kiri wig looked like, but reference photos are pretty much things that you will definitely need while you're wig styling because even though you think you know a character, you will forget. Okay, there will be bits that you need to just look at and go, oh right, yeah, he has this bit here. And that's why a reference photo is important. So we are literally just sectioning off each spike where I want it to be and we're using the little hair ties to basically let me know where I'm going to be focusing on. Now that that is all done we're going to take out one of the little pins and we're going to separate that into section and back comb it all again. Once you have your section all back combed you can back comb it from different angles pinch it all back into that spike again and then gently smooth out the outside so the bits that are going to be showing you use the comb to smooth that bit out and hairspray it. This means that it will all still be back combed within the spike but the outside will look smooth and it won't look back combed and messy, it will look nice and finished. An important thing to remember is to not drown it in hairspray and spray it from a distance. The key to getting these to stay up, other than using Got To Be Glued by Schwarzkopf, which is the best hairspray, I will say it again, is to now apply a bit of heat with the hairdryer 
on the lowest um, speed setting, you're just basically going to want to blow dry it up in the direction that it's going after spraying it with hairspray, and that will harden the hairspray and keep everything perfectly in place. As you can see here, this spike isn't as clean as I would like it, so we're going to take some scissors to it. Um, we are going to cut upwards in a diagonal diagonal um, direction to make that edge a little bit cleaner and then we're going to spray it with hairspray and pinch it and twist it together just to give it a nice rounded tip. Just the tip. You can also use a bit of wax on your fingers. Um, at the back I do get a bit lazy and I just pinch things together and hairspray them rather than backcombing them because people very rarely look at the back. But you know, it's pretty much done. Uh, now we're just cleaning up the edges of the tips and I want to work on the face. I'm getting those little side bits cut exactly how I want. When I do the side bits, I do the same technique. I start um, high and I work my way down to low and that gives a really nice technique that just gently frames the face and if you choose to curl it inwards, it won't all be one bulk twist, it'll be lots of little bits and I think that's really, really cute. Make sure that you remove your pins before putting it on. I usually um, will also have one hidden in the back here so I need to make sure I get that out otherwise I'm going to stab myself in the head, which is not a good thing. Now the most important part, trying it all on, make sure all that hair is tucked into that wig cap. Because sometimes I cut my actual hair by mistake instead of just the wig. Put that bad boy on your head by putting the forehead to your forehead because that's how wigs work. If you're going to use hair straighteners, make sure that they are on the lowest setting. If you don't have one with adjustable settings, then don't use it. And then just curl that into your face to make it look more natural. Without burning yourself, please do not burn yourself. You heard me, do not burn yourself! And just like that you are done. You can see how it's slightly off to one side, that's because it was on the wig cap at an angle and I cannot stress the importance of making sure it's all perfectly straight. Unlike me, haha, <laughs> straight and gay. To store it, I recommend having the wig head and then just keeping it on a wig head with a pin. Um, this just makes sure it all stays in place and you know, you don't damage the spikes in any way. You can also fold it in half at the central point and put it into a wig bag for safekeeping. Yes, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or any other ideas you want me to do tutorials on, just let me know in the comments below. Subscribe and like and I love you, bye!